Hey, Wafa here. I'm an ex-investment banker turned career and wellness coach and speaker. On this channel, I love talking about health and wellness, self-care, burnout prevention, and fulfilling career transitions. So if any of these sound good to you, make sure you click subscribe to not miss any further updates. In the previous video I recorded that I will link above, I talked about the three core stages of burnout. And on this video, I really wanted to deep dive into the ways we can recover from burnout. Quick disclaimer, of course, I am not a doctor nor a therapist. So this is not medical advice and I'm not promising to heal burnout or fully recover from it through these tips. My only hope with this video is to give you practical tips that have worked for me personally and for my clients so that you can sort of alleviate the fatigue and the stress associated with burnout. If you feel like you're burnt out or you know someone that is, make sure you check with a doctor to get proper recommendations on how to recover and fully heal from burnout. In the previous video, the first stage of burnout that I talked about was complete exhaustion. What I really want you to keep in mind is when we're exhausted, we're exhausted at an emotional, at a mental, at a physical, and at a spiritual level. In order to holistically heal from a burnout, you want to be able to look at all those four areas to recharge. Sleeping in for 10 days, it's not enough because that's just going to rest you physically, but it's not going to be enough to help you recharge emotionally or spiritually. So that's why if you feel completely exhausted and burnt out, a good way to recharge at this stage is to tackle your fatigue from many, many angles and self-care is your holy grail. I've created a list of 200 self-care activities and routines that can help you rest and recharge on your free time. Make sure you check the link in the description box below to access it for free. It's been tried and tested by my clients and I'm sure you will love it. Important ways that you can really rest and recharge physically are by paying attention to your nutrition and your diet, make sure you eat really nutritious and healthy foods, hydrate regularly and stay away from caffeinated and alcoholic drinks and get a better sleep. And when it comes to sleep, make sure that you're not stressed right before you're going to bed and you get enough hours of sleep every night. Ways to recharge mentally is to reduce your overwhelm. And by that, talking with your team, talking with your boss to sort of be very clear on what's your to-do list right now, focus on the priorities and delegate the rest or st stuff someone on the rest can be a good idea. Being very clear on your core priorities as well, whether at work or in life, can help you also declutter your mind and sort of give you a little bit more mental space. Another great tip to reduce mental exhaustion is to reduce multitasking. Multitasking tends to really, really strain and drain our brains because we ask our brains to focus on multiple things at the same time. And while we think that's productive, it actually stretches our brain pretty thin because basically we ask for our brain to keep switching between task A, task B, that consumes energy and that's exhausting. Ways that you can recharge emotionally is to pay attention to your emotions and really give yourself space to experience them, especially when it comes to uncomfortable emotions that are there for a reason. And I'm always a strong advocate of experiencing and feeling your feelings because our feelings really carry strong messages and it's only when we address them properly that we can sort of be aware of what's going on with us and what steps we can take to sort of improve our life and improve the way we feel. Surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people, uplifting people also is a great way to recharge yourself at an emotional level, especially if you work in a workplace that's a bit stressful and toxic and where you feel isolated. It's really important that you keep your social circles healthy. Ways to recharge yourself spiritually include massive self-care and self-love. It's incredibly important, especially for people that are burnt out, to take the time to love themselves, to give themselves grace and recognize all the hard work, all the efforts that they are putting in. Because typically when people are burnt out, they keep working and working and working, waiting for external validation or waiting until they hit a certain number, a certain stage, right, a certain milestone. And there's so much stress associated with it that is what leads to feeling burnt out because it's just never ending hustle to get to where we want. Learning to love yourself where you are right now in the present moment, being really, really content with how you've been performing, 
how you've been showing up, recognizing that that's enough. That's a huge demonstration of self-love. And that is definitely a great way to show yourself support and to recharge spiritually. Of course, there are many, many other ways to recharge at a spiritual level, including spending your time with loving and supportive people, especially friends and family, refraining from hanging out too much from toxic people, especially at work, if that's the case for you. There are many other examples that are included in the 200 self-care list. Click the link in the description box to access it. You will not be disappointed. Another stage of burnout that I mentioned in my previous video, again, I'll link it above, is depersonalization and feeling, feeling very cynical, thinking that it's always going to be like that at work, thinking that the whole industry is rotten and corrupted and it's always going to be toxic like that, you know, and thinking that it's because of you, it only happens to you, and thinking I don't really care anymore, whatever happens, happens, I don't care. And basically, when you're in that stage, your lens of life is tainted and it's darkened. And what we want to do here to help you feel better and recharge at that level is to shift your perception. Coaching is an incredibly powerful tool. Therapy as well. Therapy is a great way to help you sort of explore the wounds from the past or your behavioral tendencies that sort of led you to doubt yourself and also feel a bit distanced and disengage from your current work. Therapy is great for that. Coaching is going to be great at challenging your current perception of your career, of your life, sort of help you shift your beliefs around that, help you sort of question your current patterns and sort of help you basically see things from another perspective in a more joyful and, a, and an energetic perspective. Once again, if you want to heal and recharge your energy levels at this stage, it's incredibly important to surround yourself with positive people and loving people and supportive people and distance yourself from the group of people who have caused you to distance yourself and disengage from your work in the first place. If you know someone who's experiencing minor symptoms of burnout, these tips in this video can definitely help them recharge their energy levels and sort of not deep dive into deeper stages of burnout. However, if you know someone who has been feeling burnt out for a while and really feel like their symptoms are even stronger than maybe experiencing health problems or depression or an even stronger sense of stress and overwhelm, make sure you recommend them to talk to their teams, to sort of do something about their situation, and then reach out as well to competent doctors and therapists as well. And once they feel a bit better, then reach out to a professional coach like myself to help them get back into action mode, whether it's about implementing healthier routines to sort of prevent burnout, and recharge their batteries faster and or change their job and therefore find something that's more fulfilling and find a healthier and more fulfilling place to work at. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. You can binge watch all the videos that I created on career fulfillment and wellness at work. See you soon. Bye.